guys, happy holidays! Previously, I shared with you the top best wines that you can get in Metro Manila under 400 pesos. I wanted to follow up that video with a part 2. We're still sticking to the under 400 peso price range, but this time this is going to be a shopwise haul. The wines that I'm recommending today are all New World wines. They are often of great value because they aren't as highly priced as their European counterparts. Alright, so without further ado, I'm sharing here with you the top 3 wines that I got in Shopwise for under 400 pesos. Like last time, I made sure to work with 3 different glasses just to make sure that I don't mix them up. The first wine that I'm recommending is from Chile and it's a Sauvignon Blanc from the vineyards of the, the Aguirre family, branded Genesis. Hints of strawberries and cream, guava, and a little bit of that pungent passion fruit uh, scent. It's, it's a little bit pineapple almost off-putting, but it's not. It's very citrusy and it has a very, very mildly bitter finish. Generally, I like my cheeses better with white wine, so some mild flavored cheeses. The aromas that I mentioned are actually represented well. So for this Sauvignon Blanc, some fish fillet, some baked fish, something that's not overly too fishy I think would work well with the Sauvignon Blanc. Sushi, especially with the Japanese rice with rice vinegar, I think it would work very well. It would work with sashimi, salmon sashimi, tuna sashimi. And this Sauvignon Blanc from Chile, I got for 365 pesos. So for our second wine, we are featuring a Chardonnay from New South Wales, Australia. And this is branded Beach Hut from the Robert Oatley Vineyards. Chardonnay tends to be a bolder, drier type. This one right away, the alcohol is giving off a stronger whiff of its alcohol. I can see it in the camera that the Sauvignon Blanc has a lighter texture, sort of white gold type of finish. So yeah, so pear. Is it weird that I'm smelling some guyabano here? I don't know if there's guyabano in Australia, but... And some light green apple. Chardonnays tend to have a more buttery finish. It has a fuller flavor once it hits your palate. I have this thing with Chardonnay where after getting a taste, about 10 seconds after, I start tasting the butter more. I don't know if that happens to you guys also. I always taste butter popcorn. That's I've always found that very interesting of Chardonnay. Uh, it's great to pair with butter seared salmon. I like it with shellfish, shake the home, big oysters. So as I mentioned earlier, I like my cheeses better with white wine and, and I would pair this with blue cheese. I know blue cheese tends to lend itself better with red wine, but personally I like to pair it with a Chardonnay. The bold flavors, the full-bodied flavors of Chardonnay are really represented well in this. The Chardonnay from Australia, I got it at 359 pesos. One. Let's move on to our third wine. This is coming from South Africa. It, I was excited to see this because Shopwise doesn't have all that much coming from South Africa. It's a Shiraz Cabernet variety like last time, but this one has a third variety of grapes called the Pinotage. Pinotage is unique to South Africa. It's already being grown in other regions now, but it, this is something that, that really originally came from them. It is branded South Southwest. The interesting thing, or maybe even controversial thing, about the Pinotage variety, it's actually a hit or miss, they say. Why people don't like it is um, it tends to give off this almost paint-like smell. So yes, because of the pinotage, there's almost that industrial solvent smell that you might not want to be there. For me, it smells of something like something like a brand new office or a brand new car, which is a good smell or a good scent. But I guess people don't want that type of association. It's sort of off-putting. It's definitely unique. So how does it taste? It doesn't have too much of that Pinotage taste. Um, if I remember correctly, Pinotage actually to me it kind of it almost had a rugby type of taste. Like I don't know what rugby rugby tastes like, but, but when I smelled it, not as a hobby. 
as a solvent used as an adhesive. Peanut Hodge brought me back to what rugby would smell like. So anyway, I digress. This is a lightly flavored Peanut Hodge. Um, it's definitely there as this sort of bitter finish. Because of the unique flavor that Peanut Hodge brings to the table, it would actually work well with gamey meats, lamb, duck. If you have access to tapang usa or tapang baboy ramo, I think this would work well. Apart from the traditional steaks or red meats that, that are available, I think it would work well for edgier types of meat. So this one came at 395 pesos. Alright, so thanks for joining me again guys. I hope that you enjoyed this wine recommendation, wine tasting. Again, these videos are just really an eye-opener for, for you to appreciate wine better, or even for me actually. If you like this video, please don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again next time. Happy holidays and happy new year.